appreciate everyone who's been uh, subscribing and continuing to watch all the different videos I've been making. I've been really, really enjoying uh, making the videos and learning a whole bunch of stuff, video editing, how to videotape things, because I have absolutely zero training in any of this. Um, so, learning as I go, and oddly enough, YouTube's helping me out, and you guys are too. Uh, the feedback, subscribing keeps me motivated to keep doing it, so thank you again. I guess this next set of uh, videos I'm putting together here is going to be of a um, truck campaign. I'm going to do some muzzleloader hunting uh, down in uh, southern Vermont. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I've never tried to videotape any hunting. And, you know, if it's, it's probably harder to videotape than fishing because it's even less predictable. Um, but at the very least, I know I'll get a bunch of video of camp cooking and uh, sleeping in the bed of the truck kind of stuff so we'll definitely get some good truck cap camping stuff um the site i went to i'm looking at is really beautiful so hopefully i'll get some good video of that uh, i really hope i can get a deer um, this is vermont's early muscle loader season for uh, doe only um, initially i thought i was going to be traveling for work and not here for the muscle loader seasons so i didn't apply so uh, the reason i'm hunting in southern vermont which is about three hours away from my home is uh I always just bought a uh, remaining tick tag left over, a leftover tag. So one that didn't go to the drawing. So we'll see. Found a cool section of the Green Mountain National Forest to hunt. Um, right now I'm just out running around picking up the last little bits. I have a uh, MRI appointment for one of my knees. I have real bad arthritis from a, uh, from over 20 years in the service getting ready to retire so I'm getting all that stuff looked at now so once I'm done with my MRI which will be late tonight I'll be driving down um, and get to the camp probably around one in the morning uh, catch some sleep and then I'll head out hunting in the morning and we'll see where it goes but again um, that Colorado series was my first attempt at kind of videotaping things other than just some four-wheeling I'll get better as I go. I've really been, I enjoyed that. I've been enjoying all the different videos. I've been enjoying talking to you guys. Um, yeah, I'm just happy to be doing an adventure in my truck. So, hope you like what comes next. And, uh, yeah, like and subscribe. I don't know if this is going to come out, but got in late last night around about midnight, 1230. Got to bed. And uh, here's kind of the back of the truck here. It's pretty early right now. But that's where I slept. It wasn't too bad. Um, just brewing up. This morning was some, I had some coffee, some oatmeal. I got a couple hours till shooting light. But I think the camp's pretty cool. I can't wait to see it until the daylight. I don't know if you can hear it, but... Yeah, there's a river somewhere around here, so that should be cool, too. The coffee's coming along nice and slow. Yeah, should be a good day of hunting. Clouds come in a little bit, but not too bad. And, uh, yeah. Well, uh, have a great day. That's super neat. The uh, valley fog is lifting up here and blowing up over this ridge I'm walking along. So it just got like all foggy. Hopefully you can see it in the air cooled a good amount. It's pretty beautiful. Oh, holy crap. It is hard hunting. Um, I was pretty happy that it was supposed to be sunny the next two days I'm down here, but it's starting to get real, real loud. And a lot of the leaves aren't off all these low beech trees yet. <laughs> it's like hunting in the jungle. It's, it's tough, but whatever. It's beautiful out. Got this great view. Seen like a dozen gray squirrels and that's about it got some chipmunks barking at me but I'm just gonna keep pushing along here it 
just beautiful out here. It's so nice to be outside. Well, made it back to camp, or the truck. Um, I found a really cool spot up the road here a ways, uh, but I just don't think I'm gonna move. I got good cell coverage here, or not good. I have some, so if I need to access maps and stuff for tomorrow, uh, I think I'll stay here. It's, you know, what is, it is what it is. I'm gonna come back and we'll stay up with that one. I'll have to bring Crystal, I think she'll really like it. Um, but, yeah, let's take a quick look around camp. So, the woods, truck, so there's my kind of bed camper setup. It's actually was really good. This is the third night I've slept in it. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I do think I need to get a different sleep mat, but that can come in the future. Um, overall, everything seems to be working out real well. But one of the best parts about this whole spot is, I know you can hear it, It's just this gorgeous little stream right here. 
Uh, so that's what I got to listen to all night last night, which is nice. I like the white noise. So. All right. So, looks like uh, I'm hungry and I was trying to wade through my snacks. I might as well make dinner now so I can get everything cleaned up and put away before it gets dark. Um, so what I'm going to be making here is something I, that's kind of a, a favorite I have when I was working in Hawaii. Uh, it's a Moco Loco. It's a really good comfort food, I guess. Um, really, it doesn't consist of much, so I feel hoping it should be simple to make. Um, gonna have some white rice here. I'm gonna make that. It'll be the first thing I get going. Then I got ground beef. Got some local ground beef right from the farm next to my house. Eggs from our chickens. An onion, and since I was a little lazy, uh, just some gravy. So all it is is it's going to be white rice with a with sautéed onions and the mushroom gravy on it, a patty, and a fried egg on top of that. So sounds super awesome. And I got some Tabasco sauce, and I'll have some beer with it as well. But uh, yeah, let's get going. The rice is going to take the longest, so I'll get that started. While that's cooking, might as well start prepping the onion. I'm only going to use half of it because I'm going to use the other half for another meal. Rice is bubbling away here, simmering away. Haven't made it on the stove yet, so I guess we'll be see how this comes out. I've got the beef patty right here, and uh, we'll have to make that up next. So nothing fancy, just making a rough patty. This is gonna be a lot of food for me, but I've been walking all day, so I think I'll be okay. I can get a, I can uh, get away with it. So this is a pound of uh, grass-fed beef. Kind of uniform consistency. Got my favorite seasoning on the outside. go and now uh, we'll get that ready I think the rice is all oh, is getting close it's not close but it's moving along I think it's time to get the other one fired up uh, 
onion softened up here a little bit. Put the big hot patty in there. And now the fried egg. This is a little more complicated with just one pan, but I think I'm making it work here. How does that look for an amazing meal? <sighs> that looks really, really good. I'm pretty stoked here. We'll see, but I'm sure it's good. How can you screw it up? Well, I didn't screw it up. It was, it's awesome. It's rice, got some egg here. It is quite good. I don't know if it's the healthiest, but you know, whatever. Grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, egg. So, you know, that's a thing. But awesome recipe, highly recommend you get a Triomoco local recipe. What I wish I had that I've had when I was in Hawaii, and they put uh, kimchi on it. And that really makes it great. Or a hash brown as well. So there's a lot of different variations to it, but boy, it's good. I'm going to get to eating this, and uh, we'll talk later. Well, that was a hell of a meal. Um, there's the aftermath. I couldn't quite get it all, but that's all right. I don't think I need to eat that much anyways. Um... Yeah, so now just the part that no one ever talks about or enjoys is the cleanup. I'm not going to show that to you guys because who cares? No one needs to see me doing dishes poorly. Um, but I love my little camp here. It's a pretty nice little spot. It's on Forest Service land, so this is a dispersed camping, if you will. And uh, the sun's out, so I'm able to charge some stuff. And uh, yeah, that's about it for right now. All right, well, that wraps up the day. I had a late drive last night to get here, settled in, got three or four hours of sleep, not that much. I uh, got up and went out exploring some new mountains here. I'm on, it's, uh, it's really nice to get in the new terrain. I got to see some awesome stuff. Um, you know, there's the black bear I followed for a little bit. Right before I saw him, I jumped two nice does. I'm hoping I can go back up there tomorrow and maybe try to get a shot at them. One of the things is with a muzzleloader, for me, uh, I want a nice clean shot. I'm not not rushing it. I don't want the animal to suffer. Um, that's just the way I hunt. So, yeah, maybe on the black bear I might have only get a shot off, but it wasn't anything that I would have felt really comfortable with, especially not knowing the terrain. Uh, and knowing where the animal could go. I just, I hate seeing animals suffer. So, that's that on the hunting part. Um, had a great meal. And uh, we're settling, I'm settling in for the night here. Uh, 
I'll be going to bed soon. Sun's just starting to set. And I'll wake up tomorrow morning and we'll do it all over again. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. But uh, thanks again, guys, for uh, watching. Please subscribe. Uh, every subscription helps. And uh, you know, share the video if you can, if you liked it. Uh, I'm trying to get better at this stuff. It's uh, it's harder than it looks to videotape things you enjoy. But uh, thank you again. And uh, we had an amazing day. And what an amazing, amazing opportunity I've had today. So see you all tomorrow.